I like Tempeg. You use Tempeg. You use Tempeg. Now. <laughs> Here's my transportation. <laughs> a bike. Um, yeah, I'm here. I suppose I got to get set up pretty quickly here. This is the old uh, from last week where I set up the tarp. Same spot, uh, same cover, a little bit of a different method. This week I brought right here the, uh, a tent. So I'll be setting that up. Um, and some other things stuffed in there. Tarps, in case I need them in here, as the bike falls. A um, few other things in here, an extra, another extra tarp. And uh, on my back here, well, stuffed in this bag, and I'll show you, right here. That's my sleeping bag in there. <laughs> so a tent, sleeping bag, bike to fell over. Uh, myself, I'm gonna get set up. The rain is just kind of drizzly right now. Oops, where am I? Uh, here I am. <laughs> I'm all dressed in yellow. <laughs> Coming off a long day's work and a long work week. Uh, this is what I'm going to do Friday night. Uh, camp in a tent right here. <laughs> so, anyways, I'm a little bit more high visible here with the uh, rain jacket on. Very dry. Marina wool underneath and a shell on top. Uh, I'll talk about that once I get the tent. I'm not about to show you setting up the tent because I want to do that quick. Uh, I'll show you in the tent <laughs> when it is set up as well as uh, probably tomorrow morning the rain's supposed to die off a little bit so I'll have an opportunity to um, well show you how to take it down. <laughs> uh, when we get out of here uh, looks now that's that's my, my sign there the honky honky from the train uh, to say get at it. Okay I'm going I'm going see you in a moment. <laughs> Well, it's raining pretty good now, but that's a tent. Now you're going to see, <laughs> I'll compare it with the tarp, as it is without any camouflage. And, uh, you know, that's standing out pretty good. Uh, it's still pretty camouflaged. Now, I'm camouflaged with the rain, because there's not going to be many people out. I'm going to be soon camouflaged with the darkness. And again, not too many people are going to be <laughs> out after dark on a rainy night. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but anyways, that's the difference between a tarp and a tent. I'm going to go to the pathway and look in and see uh, just how good we can see a bright orange tent. Hi. Here are things from the pathway. I'm all hooded up here. <laughs> Rain gear. I'm very dry. Uh, Gore-Tex. Worried about the thorns in there though. <laughs> They're in a part of my Gore-Tex. But uh, uh, I'm locked in pretty good tight down there uh, with the tent. Um, should be a good night's sleep. Uh, that said, um, I, uh, uh, what am I going to say? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'll say this. <laughs> um, now here I am in bright yellow. Uh, that's great for the road, not so great when you're setting up a tent and you're trying to do it discreetly. Um, this isn't a campsite, we're in early in the year as it is, there's not camp places open right now um, that I know of. So, you know, here I am. But bright yellow, <laughs> I got a bright orange tent down there somewhere. Um, pretty much straight ahead and I can kind of see it behind the bush. But it's soon going to be concealed in the darkness. Um, so that's that's an angle here. I'm going to go over to another angle and see. 
I'm gonna tell you it's I can see it's just straight ahead but if I was walking by I wouldn't notice it now looking straight ahead uh, again I can see it I know it's there most people walking by aren't really going to notice they're going to be looking out into the harbor beyond what's down there so as you can see almost dead center screen that's where the tent is and from an entirely different angle um, again I can see it straight ahead but I know it's there uh, right now walking along at night it's not going to stick out too much so it's pretty camouflaged behind the tree as it is um, <laughs> so we'll see I, I may throw a tarp over it anyways and it won't hurt on a night like tonight to keep it a little even more dry uh, so I may do that shore the thing up a little bit and then climb on in have a good night's rest <laughs> uh, I shouldn't be talking without showing my face extreme close-up <laughs> you don't need that <laughs> especially after a long day's work uh, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to do that, climb in, and, and uh, we'll see from there, but shore up a few things. Uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a little bit drier, so with that, what I'll do is uh, show you a little bit more of uh, the breakdown anyways, of uh, the breakdown of setting up. <laughs> oh, I'm going to add this, uh, because it is the end of the day. Um, this would be, when I was going across Canada, this would be the scenario of for almost 16 months off and on you know there was the time when i was taken into people's households uh sometimes people put me up in a, ho a hotel a motel um but this was really the scenario find a place at the end of the day uh set up a tarp uh set up a tent whatever's easier quickest uh tonight with a lot of rain you'd want more of a tent than a tarp uh but then again you know you, you could be t perfectly fine under a tarp um, you know, depending if there's wind or whatnot. Uh, tent's definitely the way to go, lots more room to move around. I'll show you that soon enough. Um, so yeah, that would be the way, but can you imagine? Night after night, go 40 kilometers, 50 kilometers, and then I'd have to set up one of these buggers at the end of the day. <laughs> and then feed myself. Uh, something to think about. <laughs> Everyone's gonna get moving here. <laughs> Down through bloody brush. Thorns and <laughs> ruin my beautiful Gore-Tex jackets and pants. <laughs> Here I go. Wish me luck. Another thing I will say about having a bright-colored tent, however, <laughs> however, however, not so stealthy as it is, um, you know, you can easily find it. <laughs> <laughs> when you start looking uh, as you see the last time um, I think I thought the, I was over behind that bush and here I was behind this bush with the tarp here as you can see quite easily can you find that tent and of course that, that's an advantage and a disadvantage um, you know the disadvantage of being so visible of course is it draws attention uh, the advantage of being so visible if you're ever in trouble or stuck out there, well, even through some heavy brush, it draws attention. <laughs> but there you go. Ah, my beautiful home for the night. Oh, I think that's something. And, of course, here is my beautiful backyard. I think that's something? Oh, well, actually, that's more like my backyard. That depends whichever way you look. <laughs> That's my front yard. <laughs> Halifax Harbor. Nova Scotia, Canada. Ding-a-ding. -ding. Well, my tent is directly behind there. <laughs> I think that's a little bit better. You can't really see any orange from that perspective. You can when you move out here. So what I ended up doing was partially camouflaging it. I have another tarp. If I wanted to, I could pull it right up over that to totally camouflage it. <laughs> uh, it is getting dark. It is still raining. But uh, that gets the 
the scenery from the pathway knocked down a little bit. So, uh, you know, even that side, to a degree, you certainly can <laughs> certainly can see the difference. Uh, I'm not too worried about, let's say, the Harbor Patrol calling me in. Uh, I don't think they're too concerned about what's along the shores, but what rather is uh, on the water. But, um, you know, as I move along and change the angle, um, you know, I think, I think, from where I walked out of, straight dead center is where my tent is set up for the night. I will have a good night's sleep. It's quiet. The rain is going to keep people in. And it's going to keep me in. <laughs> it's hard to keep me in. I'm going to talk. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I can get some good lighting around. Hello. Um, this is the animal element. I'm not going to talk too much about cooking food, um, that kind of stuff. When I was on the road, I did not cook on the road. <laughs> it didn't do it. To me, um, I say time is energy. I don't want to waste my energy trying to get energy. <laughs> That's kind of <laughs> counterproductive when you're going uh, 30, 40, 50 kilometers a day on a hike across Canada. Uh, burning calories going up and down hills, mountains and valleys and <laughs> well, you name it. Um, so I didn't want to do that. Uh, I brought a lot of raw food, uh, bananas, carrots and so forth. Um, <laughs> rutabaga, that kind of stuff. Uh, cans of stuff. Ready to eat, ready to <laughs> go to sleep. That's what I needed. Um, but I brought along the what I call the animal element. This Gore-Tex, to me, if you can see it in the dark, uh, I'll look at this video in the morning and see if I got a enough lighting to show you guys. But um, this is like feathers on a bird to me. And underneath is all those uh, down. Down? What do they call it? Yeah. <laughs> the light fluffy stuff. The merino wool underneath. So my core down here and there and my arms and whatever it's warm although this is what i call anything under 10 degrees especially under five degrees and raining and that's what we're getting about now <laughs> uh it's supposed to be about four degrees overnight so this is what i call a killer rain because it's going to zap your energy uh and if you're out there exposed it, it can just kill you uh, seriously uh so good layer of merino wool that's that's like fur on me i'm putting fur on top of my body <laughs> to keep me warm hello <laughs> i like tent peg you use tent peg you use tent peg now yeah uh they're kind of camouflage though if you look at them. Ooh, see <laughs> They're dressed better for this, <laughs> visually than me. But yeah, that bright yellow, um, I'm a canary out here. Uh, people will see me. Uh, now, if I was wanting to disguise myself, I'd just put something over this. But this again uh, would be my feathers, and underneath the feathers is the fur, and that's merino wool. That combination is excellent. And the shell itself, um, with merino wool, it's gonna wick that moisture away from me. Uh, Doing that, it, you know, it's going to keep it away from my body. I say this, water is your friend on the inside and your enemy on the outside. <laughs> like right now, outside, on top of me, on top of everything, uh, rain can be my enemy. But water on the inside, of course, you need to be hydrated. So you got to think about that. So with the marina wool being able to wick that away from your body and release it uh, somewhat through... A Gore-Tex jacket where it can condense and evaporate. That's a good thing. Just want to point that out. Um, I'm very minimalist, right? Again, time is energy. Uh, so that's what you always got to consider. Uh, anyways, I'll leave it at that. Well, it is raining like a bugger now, <laughs> as you can hear. But this is inside, uh, inside my tent. 
Um, looks like it's already. When it's this cool, you're gonna have a lot of condensation, and that's what we're looking at here. So <laughs> it's pretty hard to keep <laughs> dry completely on a rainy, rainy night like this. So expect to be a little wet. But uh, out here, this is my porch. If you can take a look, <laughs> that's where I have, oop, I should be, excuse me. I should be moving this uh, a little bit. So my boots can air out. Ooh, that's, uh, there. That, that was kind of important when I was on the road have a place where you can kind of air out your boots <laughs> and keep them dry so this is a nice little nice little porch in there eh look at that nice little porch <laughs> Let's have my here's my lighting <laughs> um, so yeah dig that <laughs> yeah well, but it's uh, quite a big tent I have another light up there um, you know, back here is where I had the uh, the tarp, so that's going to block out light going out towards the uh, pathway. Uh, but st still out towards the harbor, <laughs> we're going to have uh, a glowy tent. So I'll shut this down pretty quick, <laughs> but I will just stop and give you another little chat before I go to sleep. Hello, this is me, fully lit, <laughs> um, in a tent, <laughs> lit in a tent. Uh, yeah, it's cool. It's, it's good. I feel warm, comfortable. As you can see, merino wool all over me. Um, dry in the tent so far. Lots of rain out there. More rain than last week. Uh, with the tarp last week, you know, you're just basically lying underneath, uh, well, a tarp and hoping to stay dry. Here, um, as you can see, a lot more room and that's terrific. <laughs> um, what else do I want to say? I don't know much more to say. I'm in. I'm in here. I'm in out of the rain. Uh, what else can you say? Keep it simple when you're when you're camping. Uh, as simple as you need to. In situations like this, knock up a tent, put it up, <laughs> um, and you'll be much more comfortable throughout the night. And that's gonna, you know, good rest is absolutely perfect for a day of exertion afterwards. Um, that said, if it's going to be easy to set up a tarp and that's going to be it or even if you don't set up a tarp at all put up a sleeping bag sleep under the stars um, depends on what time of the season you don't really want to do that when the mosquitoes are out because they will eat you alive uh, so there's the advantage of a tent <laughs> keeps the mosquitoes away keeps you dry lots of room it, it, it's a little bit of home give an opportunity to um, as well let, let yourself dry out a little bit better uh, last week with the tarp uh, it did leave with condensation. It's right up against your body. Here, it's up around <laughs> just outside of this stuff uh, on the outer layer, <laughs> except where you can see it up around the side. Uh, yeah. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna curl up, go to sleep. <laughs> Cheers, folks. Ten o'clock at night and it's still raining. It's so nice. I'm just about to go to sleep. Waking up to the sounds of nature in the city. <laughs> Don't know if you can hear that. If it's going to do it. <laughs> I've been hearing a way off in the distance this morning, a woodpecker. <laughs> All the other birds are making their little chirps and their little calls and their little songs. Woodpecker. Do -do 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 -do.
I was opening. Oh, there he was there. <laughs> Way off in the distance. I don't know if you could, the uh, audio will pick that up. Ah. This is the reward of hard work. <laughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Well, it is definitely getting bright. Well, I'm still in my sleeping bag. I'm going to have to get up. For every five to seven degree increase in temperature or decrease in temperature Celsius wise, um, you layer up or you take off a layer. Now, where I have gone through plus 30s and um, oh, minus, almost minus 30s too, uh, legitimately. Well, no, no, I'll, I'll say I biked in minus 33. Um, but camp, camping, I camped in minus 26. Um, I'm going to give you a little scenario. First night I camped out, it was minus 7. I was waking up about every two hours, shivering, having to turn on that propane heater. Um, the next night, it was minus 13. Same thing. Every two hours, I'm having to get up and turn on this propane heater to warm me up. Um, not good, two very bad night sleeps. Um, third day, <laughs> uh, well after that minus 13, I went and I started talking. Well, this is the scenario, this is what I have going on. Um, I'm waking up every two hours shivering, having to turn on the heater. What's your best option is what I asked somebody at a uh, camping store. Marina wool. <laughs> oh, marina wool. Okay. Um, why? <laughs> well, it regulates your body heat uh, very, very well. Um, he also said the antibacterial properties. <laughs> As he said, I had socks hanging up here. Um, mostly marina wool socks as well. Because <laughs> that's, I cued in, what antibacterial, that'll be great for my feet, you know. If I ever do stop after long days and somebody says, oh, you can stay at my place, well, the, the last thing I want <laughs> as an introduction is, you know, some smelly socks when I come in through their door. Uh, they did quite well. <laughs> they really do. Um, to a degree. Uh, but yes, layering up and re roll. This, um, so I came back from this camping store with uh, Marina wool. I also had a liner for my sleeping bag. Well, <laughs> here, I'll show you. This is the liner for this sleeping bag. <laughs> I used it last night. <laughs> Here's some extra clothes. Marina wool shirt, Marina wool um, long johns in case I needed them. Didn't need them last night. Always great to take extra, but uh, that's, you know, one layer here, marina wool, uh, a thick layer of marina wool here, and another layer here, plus the sleeping bag. And I apt it out of the liner. But on this day in particular, I came back um, with a liner for my sleeping bag, uh, the marina wool layers. Uh, I tucked in, in my sleeping bag, you know, in the minus teens at that point. It did go down to minus 26. And I will say, through that entire night, I did not turn on the heater. I did in the morning when I was breaking camp, gathering things up. But that particular night, slept in a sleeping bag, layered up in marina wool, um, and I was absolutely fine. Had a great night's sleep. <laughs> I did break camp. I walked uh, 26 kilometers in minus 26 with, against the wind. Uh, marina wool. Um, it's it's the animal element. That's that's the theme of what I just did here. I'm gonna add this a little bit. I mean, you know, being in a tent, you, know, you get you get used to these surroundings. This is common. This is like your home. The walls look like the walls in your own house or apartment. You know. Um, when you open your door in the morning, <laughs> you
you have always the same scenery. Now, I'm gonna do the great reveal here. I'm gonna open my door in the morning here. And, uh, <laughs> there's my reveal. And as you camp along going across Canada, every morning, it's a different view. And I'll say, my tent has never had such an amazing view outside of its door. But that's, that's a reward of cross Canada camping. It's starting to rain again, but uh, before I pull this completely down, um, you know, here's some things that I did. <laughs> Little peg here. Bungee cords are a very, very good friend of yours when you're on the road. Uh, they're so <laughs> adaptable. <laughs> they make so many things possible. And uh, of course, so do tent pegs. I like tent pegs. Um, oh, by the way, uh, remember to subscribe, share, like, all that stuff. Especially subscribe. No, watch. No. Watch is even better. I'll spare you the thought. I'm, uh, I'll come back to you in a moment when I get the uh, the jacket off. You know, the jacket's just a matter of... Actually, no, I will show you this. Um, this particular jacket, it's terrific. You know, you just, you just unclamp. I usually don't like sleeves when it comes to tent posts. You know, it's it's a pain in the butt. As you can see, it's it's just more difficult. But you do on this part have to put it through a sleeve. Um, again, I don't like it. <laughs> it it's, it's, it takes again time is energy, and that uh, putting a post or, or a pole, sorry, through a sleeve is uh, time consuming. Even if it is just a couple of minutes. Don't leave a thing behind. Now, tent pegs, um, you can leave one or two now and then. Uh, but one or two when you're traveling along highways, eh, sooner or later you're going to run out if you leave one a day. <laughs> so, what I say when you're pulling the moat, the tent pegs, Keep them with friends. Don't leave them as individuals. Put them in an area where they're together. I don't like poles going through sleeves. Uh, these things are wonderful. It's just simply this. Like I'm, I'm so, <laughs> I'm so sure of myself. I'm just gonna do all this one foul swoop here. And you can assemble, disassemble a tent, oh, in minutes. <laughs> Oh, there's another tent peg right there. So again, throw it with the rest. Um, let it kick out. Boom, there it goes. One. This here. Let's see, and I'm, into, I, I'm virtually doing this with one hand, right? As I'm filming. That's not bad. This, again. Oh, and I got myself. <laughs> you know, and that's it. Give your tarps, give your tent a good shake. <laughs> Not a one hand shake like, like this, but a good two hand shake. I don't know what that is. <sighs> but uh, it darn near got <laughs> in with my tent stuff. Ooh, what are you gonna be when you grow up? I always do this, put the hand out, and I look around. I walk, I look at the edge of my fingers. I'm making sure I'm not leaving anything behind. Always leave the campsite the way that you found it. Nothing, not even a speck of paper should be left. I uh, hope you enjoy uh, whatever my ramblings. And uh, I'm hoping that you will, of course, subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> it's raining again. Oh, and I will show you this too. Um, as I was talking about the animal element, 
See, Gore-Tex works like feathers. See how it just beads? And if you get a lot of it, you just kind of, you can shake a lot of it off when it gets heavy. Just like you'd see a bird do. <laughs> Gore-Tex, animal element, cheers. I'm gonna miss this site. I'll be on to a new one.